Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 3, A New Way Forward. So for today, as you can see, I have a little egg on my hotbar. It's a Landia portal marker. Uh, you can place this in the world and once you kill a dead mob or an undead mob, <laughs> kill a dead mob, uh, in the vicinity, it will activate and then you can go to Landia, which is the Landcraft mod dimension thing. And you can get Thorium and Tungsten and more Landium, I assume. Unless the Landium is only found in the Nether, so it looks like. But you can get a lot of stuff for different like pickaxes and stuff. They have quite a bit of durability. This one has 2,000, 2,500 for the Kellyan. Uh, and the Kellyan ingots is basically Kellyan ore. And you can get an energy wand, which fires at your enemies. There's the Landium bow. There's Thorium armor, which, again, is the whole progression thing with the black quartz. And then the Enori crystal. And then the iron. And then the osmium. And then the lead. And then the nickel. It's so, so, so much armor. Okay. Uh, so I need to I need a way to capture the mob. Uh, do I have any? Do I have gas tears? Gas I have gas tears. Uh, we have uh, mob imprisonment tools. We can just get some plastic. I think that should be a mob imprisonment tool. Nice. So I'll go grab a wither skeleton in the nether, I think. Because uh, gathering things here could end up bad because of explosions. So I'll go get a wither skeleton and then we'll place this portal somewhere here. Uh, and we can... Or probably I can just grab a zombie pigman. That I assume counts as an undead mob. I hope. Because undeads are zombies, so zombie pigmen should be good if we kill that. Um, so let's just grab whatever we see first. Um, up, up. There's lots of fire, lots of loading. Uh, what are you? A demon pig. Interesting. Okay. Zombie pigmen. Thank you very much. We should be good on that. So let's just head back to base and activate this portal. Shouldn't take us too long. Any time now. Portal. There we go. Okay, I'll just place this right behind here. Uh, I just need a. Look, we can. Actually, no. I I turned off my portal. That is that is that was not what I wanted. Uh, let's grab a flint and steel. Flint and steel, and I'll also grab just a. Just some stone, I guess. I don't know if we have to make the portal safe over there on the other side, but we should be fine, I think. I don't know how... There's some boss mobs and some, like, other mobs that do stuff, but if we do this and I just kill you then, you're gonna come after me anyway. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why? Okay, let me go grab another mob. Maybe put it in a secure spot. Okay, I got a wither skeleton this time, and hopefully we don't fail. I placed him inside of the thing, so I hopeful, hopefully this works. Yeah, there we go. That's the Landium portal. And I think you just go into the beam, and then we get transported. So we'll see what this whole Landium place has to be about. I might have to put on some abilities, which I have enough levels for, I think. To get, uh, I still have regen and fire resistance, which is the two most important ones. We could put in some, some other stuff. Firstly, I will just put nope. Give me this, and I will press J, J. I said, we'll put a waypoint, and we're gonna do a portal waypoint. Put it like light blue, so it's the same color as the portal, I guess. Uh, so we have that, and this is this is landium. It has cinnamon leaves with. Very weird wood. Oh, what what are you? Cinnamon. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's like an... I could grow cinnamon around it. That is interesting. Okay, I got some saplings for that. There's pigs. There's... What is this called? Just grass blocks and they're blue. Interesting. Okay, so that is kind of the world. Here is kind of like a spanna. Is that a... That's just sheep. Uh, there's witches. There's also wizards, which I believe are passive mobs, and then their shots go through armor. That's as much as I've read. Oh, are those carrots? No, that's onions. There's creepers. There's slime islands, though, which is really neat. Uh, so we can get... Uh, I think we have the purple slimy sapling. Uh, 
but we can get a couple more. Let's get, uh, we have, let's get magnetize on the here. We have regen, speed, fire resistance, and absorption. Absorption is fine. That's extra hearts. Uh, at least this slime island isn't <clears throat> as excessive in slime spawning as the one that was in my base. I assume they fixed that. Uh, I think it was, it possibly was a bug. Hello, blue slimes. No. Stop, please. Thank you very much for stopping. Let me just get a tiny bit more of this blue slime. If we ever want an embossment, we have the blue slime for that. And I have the purple slime. We just need the magma slime, I think, in the... In that case, okay, so let me just fly around here, maybe dig down a bit and see what I can find. I put on night vision so you can see a little bit, little bit better, but we found the ores from Landcraft. This is um, Friscoin, Frision, Frision, not Friscoin. And then we have Morganine. Can I even harvest this? No, it's non-harvestable uh, for this pickaxe level. Uh, so we need to make a better pickaxe if we want to harvest this, but it is here. What are you? Corallium or? Okay. I got Corallium gems. These are used to make Corallium infused stone. And I just, you can make clusters. But these are just made to do Corallium infused stone or is it, it's like fuel. Interesting. Okay. What are you? Garfax, that's another one from Landcraft that we can't mine. It's already always also here. So if we look at Landcraft, at Land, Landcraft, we, the Kellyan ore we haven't found. Garfax we did, Morganine we did, Rashaline we didn't, and Frision we'd have. Uh, they don't show up in JEI if I do anything. Um, so maybe they spawn more downwards? And I, I'm gonna run out of food in like a couple more <laughs> vein mines. Um, that's another Frisian. And more Frisian. I assume I can just make a Frisian pickaxe and then be able to mine everything else. Or we could make a Tinker's pickaxe with cobalt from the nether. That could also be a thing. So I also probably should have made a, a Devnel because all of this cobblestone is getting a little bit annoying. Uh, there's Peridot. What why are we Y28? So let's just go down a bit more. I'm gonna vein, I'm gonna just vein on. Yeah, that's something new. Rashaline. Okay. Do I see anything else new? This one's Titanium from Thermal Sol Solars. Uh, we got this, this ground from the strongest of ores. And titanium ingots can be used to make titanium stuff. <clears throat> make compressed titanium. We can make iron alloy ingots out of titanium and iron and their their use is absolutely like iron. Uh, this is more, this is thorium. Oh yeah, we can mine this, but we haven't found it before. So let's get rid of all of this cobblestone. In just a second. So thorium <clears throat> is used to make thorium stuff and also this energy wand, which is right click to fire at your enemies or in the breeder reactor and redstone component, player mime. This is kind of like, I read about this. This is basically a, um, a I think it turns into a nine by nine area, it turns that, any kills in that area count as player kills, no matter how they're uh, how they're made, I guess. So Rashaline is another tier higher, it's harvest level six. Uh, Frisian we can get. And then the, there's more Rashaline. And we'll just go down to Bedrock just to see. This is more Thorium. Takes a ma oh while to mine if I'm standing up. Uh, so let's get rid of the cobbles and eat some noms. Like I said, I'm gonna run out in a couple more vein mines and then I'm gonna have to go cook more apples. Uh, okay, so we're down at bedrock and there's lava, titanium, 
silicon from Galacticraft. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, this is pretty much what Landium looks like. But at least the ores are kind of the same, as, except you find all of the different Landium ores as well. Uh, so that is really neat. And maybe I'll go around. I don't have a long-range weapon, so that is kind of problematic if I want to fight any anything else uh, that might potentially kill me. <clears throat> Actually, I'll keep the dirt because I don't have any sort of way to uh, get dirt other than sifting. I mean, I can go mine, mine it here now, uh, to be honest. But I'll just fly around and see what there is to see. I came back from Landium and I kind of got everything into the Emmy system and I want to continue on today with making a blaze spawner because the quest thing here for the for these swords requires 200 blaze rods and 100 racks which we have or RAKs and we can get this looting 3 sword which is going to be really cool and it's unbreakable as well and has quite a bit of attack damage and we can get the next tier then and see what actually that has on it um so basically I have the two blaze spawners, some blocks, I have a, a crate. I wanted to use a mob crusher, but now that I'm thinking about it, what I'll, I'll just do is grab th this, basically. I need a silk touch pick, or no, we can use the glass cutter, right? Uh, to glass cutter to get uh, a simple silk touch going, because I think I can just use this to break all of these, nice. Uh, so we'll just grab this. Uh, the cursed earth is fine. We don't really need it. So we're gonna grab the lamps As well, I have magnetic on so we should be getting those into my inventory or no They're getting picked up by the, the item item translocator thingy uh, So this should all get picked up as well. Oh god, this is gonna I need to turn this off How are you? Oh, you're running because of the lever back here, so let's turn this lever off Still really weird that you can put ah, put torches and levers in the same block. Okay, so let me just get rid of a little bit of stuff. Um, what do I not need on me? Uh, dirt and the redstone lamp. Just so I pick up the upgrades because I didn't really want to lose them. They cost quite a bit of stuff to get. So we'll just break this by standing on it. So we break it a tiny bit faster. Uh, and that has gone into here probably. Yes. Okay. So to have space, I do. So let me just build this up. I'll just build it somewhere here on the side. Maybe just go from the edges here. And we're just going to build a probably a nine by nine uh, of space for this. I'm just going to do this as the edge. And then I'm going to chisel some, th some of them to another one. Maybe panels are not dent, stained. It doesn't really matter. We're going to be changing this anyway. We'll do these. Uh, and let's grab a couple of them. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And wrap it around and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then wrap it around like that. Just to get blaze spawners going, just so we can get blaze rods. And I have my wand on me, so we can get this done easily just by doing that. Okay. Ah. And then we need it, uh, we need to find the center. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five is the center. And then one, two, three, four. So that'll be the center right here. So we can just put a blaze spawner right here and right here. And I'll actually just turn these into restart spawners. So let's grab drops of evil or just a drop of evil. And we can do that. Oh, they get consumed now. Okay. Or at least in this pack. Maybe he changed it so they, it consumes it now. Uh, but we're going to do like that. And we can just turn redstone on, redstone on. Just so we don't have a problem with that. Okay. So that should be what I need for the blaze spawners. And I'll just bring the ceiling up to the top. We need basically one block here and then one block up top. And then go to the edges. Kinda, that not, wasn't really the edge, but this is. And we could just do that and then that. And we're gonna bring these small tiles up to here, so like that. 
and over to the edge. Okay, uh, let me finish building this box and then I'm just gonna set up basically the exact, exact, uh, the exact same thing that I had before. I'm probably just gonna put this in the corner. Actually, no, we won't put it. We'll put it in the center as I had before because all of this is actually temporary anyway and it's gonna get moved. I just want a stack load of blaze rods. So yeah, let me finish this and I'll be back in a moment. I got the blaze spawners functioning. They're kind of slow, but this absorption hopper is slow anyway, so the speed at which they produce blaze rods is perfectly fine. And we have one and a half thousand, one point six thousand now, so we can just grab a couple of stacks of these. And then let's grab our RAKs. Random acts of kindness. I'll just grab all of these. And we can go over here and detect submit. Nice. Claim. Awesome. We have a super sword now. Awesome. Woohoo! Looting three, sharpness three, XP boost one, and smite three, and unbreakable. Awesome. What do we need for the second tier? You need Basalt's Rod, Tarantula Boss Trophy, and 300 RKs. Okay, and this is XP boost five, looting six, 28 attack damage, 60% attack speed, three max health, and unbreakable. Oh, we get uh, a health boost as well. 10%, uh, no, one max health. So we get half a heart uh, when we hold this. Okay, cool. So for the Basalt's Rods, it's going to be a bit more complicated to get those. Plus, we need to do a bunch more questing to get more more RAKs or anything. So I, we could go to the end. We could possibly make heart canisters for the basic quests here. Uh, we could get into Boot. But we don't have basic resource going, so or basic resource automation. So I think we could go with sieves, but I think I'd rather just make an entire like um, building for seeds. And I had a little bit of an idea. Maybe we do the whole base place is gonna be, for example, for this for the farming. Oh, hello, mobs. That's <laughs> that's fine. Uh, if mobs spawn inside while I'm while I'm further away, that is all all good. I think. Uh, so basically for um for the base at least for the seeds for the farms uh i'm gonna do nine by nine farms i think or maybe we could do even bigger and make it even larger because the i want to use the plant interactor i believe this will work properly i just ha we just have to test it so let's do let's do this we need two gold gears we need three iron hose one two three and i made sure that I made a bunch of machine frames. So if we do this and then grab a add-on uh, and we need the this one, we have emeralds, so we can do that. Uh, so this will be a, this big range. That could be, that might take a while to get through all of the seeds and we might be better with doing a smaller one if, depending on the seed growth. Uh, because the whole, uh, the whole thing of, uh, do we have growth crystals? We do. We do have growth crystals, and these work in a 9x9. Nine nine. So I think I'll just do 9x9 nine nine farms. These require shards of water, which is Lordcraft, which is arcane forges, which is mana-infused dust, which is, I don't know, I just don't know how you get mana-infused dust if it's only simple crystals. And I don't know how you get simple crystals other than crystallization research. There's things that I need to learn about this, but uh, we can get those. The second tier is lily pads of fertility, which is fine. And the third tier is end crystals, growth crystal tier two, hardener and dirium glass and growth accelerators. Uh, but okay, so uh, that I think will work if we do just nine by nines. I just wanted to test. Uh, so the add on that we would need is this tier three uh, for the nine by nine farm. And let's grab some dirt. Uh, and my, I think I have seeds, these, let's say Certus Quartz seeds, and we can uh, identify these with, uh, with I can't recall, uh, Agricraft, that's the one that I'm looking for. So we'll just go up here uh, and just set this up so I can see uh, how this will work. So if we just do uh, this much and then this and plant this and this, and we need a wireless uh, transmitter. So we'll just place this here and we need a water source as well. So water, okay. I'll place you right here. 
These are te this is gonna be up. Oh, nope. It's gonna flush away my torches. No. Okay. It's all good. It's a little bit laggy. Oh, it flushed away some torches. I had mob spawn in during the blood moon. I also made a sojourner staff, which is really cool, because it can blaze torches from far away, and it increases the cost. But I have a thousand torches inside, so that should last me a while. Why is it so laggy all of a sudden? Is the water still? Oh yeah, that's that's why it's laggy. Okay, the water's falling down. That's fine. Uh, I also want a torch on top of here. Or maybe on the side there, that's fine. Okay, uh, so if we do seeds, and I'll grab my bone mealer ability. Uh, let's just get rid of, bah, 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 bah. we don't need fire resistance as of this moment. Let's put bone mealer on, and see how this plant interactor works. It should just harvest and not remove the seed, I hope. And I don't know if that works with AgroCraft as well. Okay, so it does just harvest. Okay, uh, that's fine. Okay, let's grab some crop sticks. Crop sticks. I think these are just regular sticks. There we go. So if I place you here. And also, let's just make a seed analyzer just so we can... Seed analyzer. We should have everything nice. And let's just identify these seeds. They should be one one ones. Yes. Okay. Uh, and I believe I can do that and that. This plant won't grow with the current light level. Um, sure. Oh, I can't. Well, flush the way torches on this side as well. Doesn't matter. Um, I don't know where I can put torches. Here I can put torches. Okay, it is growing. Uh, I forget how you need the spreading. I think you need crop sticks like this. And then they'll spread and you can do like a spiral thing. But this does work. Yeah, it, it did spread. It looks like that's just harvesting the, the crop sticks off of the things. Okay, so that won't work with the plant interactor, but I think I can at least, uh, we can just turn this off. Uh, this is spreading, but we'll see We'll see if we leveled up this. No, the seeds are all stacked. They're all one, one, ones. Okay, because if I recall correctly, you do this and this, and then do that. And then you wait for the seed to spread. Uh, yeah, there it goes. And if we do that, then this should be a higher level. At least that's how I did it in the past. And there's somebody said that you can do it the circular thing with like imaginary time blocks. Uh, but if I place, um, if I do this, and then I just stand here and we'll see what happens when the seed gets to the end. The seed got all the way to the end. So let's see what level this is gonna be once we uh, identify it. Because we started with one one ones or one two ones, I think, or maybe I didn't need, even put that one. That's five six six. So if I just vein mine these, I can't. But if we just put another set of crop sticks, like so, and put the five six five. So that's this one, right? Put this one here, and we can kind of get rid of all of these. Uh, I'll and we don't need the one one ones as well. We have this one. So as long as we don't lose this one, it's fine. So this does work. It levels up uh, slowly. And there's a spiral way where you can do this, where you put it here and then it just, uh, you put, uh, I think, like that. And then you go into a spiral and leave a gap of blocks in between. Uh, and we can set that up as well at some point. Um, but yeah, I think what I'll do next is I'll see how much time we have left on the episode, first of all. And then I'm gonna see if we can start working on the beginnings of the base or of the base of this, at least, at least this build. And we're gonna see, we can fit this probably into one chunk, maybe three chunks, cause I want it to look like a giant plus sign. And we could use the middle 
of the plus sign uh, as the layers of the seeds. So for example, you would have a nine by nine and then a two block gap, three block gap, and then another nine by nine and so forth going up to the top. Uh, and we can do, uh, we can just stack as many as we need and we'll see when we stop on the floors. Because uh, I don't know how many floors we'll need for all the seeds because we're probably gonna want more of certain essences and less of certain essences and so forth. So yeah, uh, let me do a little bit of work and I'll be back in a moment. So it totally worked. We have 10, 10, 10 seeds now and I even got a few more of them and they grow very fast with the bone mealer. If I grab my crop stacks, which I don't know why I put away, but I did. Uh, and if I just place one seed in here with the bone mealer, it grows insanely fast and we can just uh, duplicate the seeds by doing this and I stand next to it. And because it's 10, 10, 10, it spreads super fast. Uh, so then we just get a total of eight extra seeds every time we do this. Uh, so you just wait and then they spread basically. So that is really cool. But I think I'm going to end the episode off here because I'm kind of running out of time to record today. So with that, I want to thank you all for watching. I'm hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Also consider subscribing to see new videos. Support me on Patreon if you want. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.